<laughs> All aboard! Hey! Huh? Up! What? Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 11 of Worst Dreams Come True, the show where we suffer through the entire good and bad of Disney+. Plus. I am your host, Collins, and joining me today, once more, we have uh, Sarah. Hello. Doug. And uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. And Cameron. Yay, I'm last again. Because no one likes you. <laughs> I don't know why it puts you last on my screen because it knows because it, it, it knows <laughs> it, it knows so uh this last week we watched i guess in my case uh last night and this morning uh watched this Fish morning Hooks. hang on this morning yeah i watched the the third episode this morning yeah actually me too because we waited till eleven thirty to start and i had work in the morning yeah what did you guys do after recording last night i played control Okay. Yeah, and then we watched fish hooks. So, so I, that, I just set up my room after recording Minecraft and dyed my fish hair. Hooks. I did a lot yesterday. Yeah, you did. You got busy. Um, we uh, fish hooks again. It is a 2010 animated series created by Noah Jones, Alex Hirsch, and William Rice. Produced by produced by Justin Roiland and uh, starring Justin Roiland of Rick and Morty fame. Yeah. Uh, there, there, there was th this definitely felt like the project that he did before he went on to Rick and Morty. It definitely has a similar style of humor, albeit toned down to a PG level. I got mm -hmm. a very um, SpongeBob vibe from this because it's fish? Fish, fish. No, be like at the very beginning, though, you have the, the painting of the guy, but it like looks more realistic and stuff like yeah like the png stuff yeah and like mm -hmm. the humor was very spongebob-y to me i don't i haven't watched spongebob that much though so it, it does could just seem be like they mine. were trying to imitate some of cartoon network success during the early aughts of mixed media mm -hmm. and the yeah humor as well. well like like a uh, amazing world of gumball type thing with mixed styles of animation definitely it's very interesting except without the textures that stay in one place there is there there is a couple good. there was a couple characters that had that like the chowder really? textures that stay in place yeah there was like mm -hmm. one or two but it was like it was still like a solid texture so it wasn't really that visible well there was none of it in this though in 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 this show there there was yeah Clamantha like, you mean yeah Clamantha had that I think oh okay anyway I didn't that. uh fish hooks Milo B and Oscar are three BFFs best fish friends who live in a giant fish tank neighborhood located at the center of a pet shop. The three friends experience the typical challenges and triumphs as well as fish drama and fish clicks of their freshman year at Freshwater High. Uh, initial thoughts. Have you seen the show before? Um, your memories of it and then what it's like the second viewing? Uh, we'll start with Sarah. Go right down the line. Yeah, uh, this was one of those shows that I didn't remember until I saw it and then I had this visceral memory of watching it and like certain things would jump out and be like oh my gosh this was locked in a deep dark part of my brain in a good way <laughs> like it was it was just rediscovering something that's like it's very childish but it's also a lot of fun so I enjoyed it Alrighty, Doug so I remember I think watching this like at my grandpa's house in Connecticut or something. I know I've seen it at some point in my life. I just forget when and where and what episodes I've seen and stuff. Um, as far as, and it's, and it was probably locked in a deep, dark dungeon place, part of my brain too, but not in a good way. <laughs> like it, it's one of those things where you just sit and watch it. You're just like, yeah, that was a thing. And that was back when they, when they did, mini episodes within the episode like yeah half like, the episode was a story and then the other half was a story like arthur did that um adventure time did that adventure time doesn't count that show sucks Ooh. Ooh. okay shots Shot. fired i disagree <laughs> uh so we will go straight on hot to cameron. take hot take we'll go straight on to cameron too hot to handle uh well i've never seen this uh show before and uh I, I thought it was, it was a good kid show, at least. 
Um, wow, yeah. Wow. I feel like we are already going to disagree on this show when it comes to the ranking. Uh, I, Dude, we disagree uh, every single week. Yeah, leave, Most leave, a good, weeks. leave a good 10 minutes on the back half of this episode so we can argue over it. <laughs> oh, usually, we... usually what happens is I say my thing, you guys all say yours, and I go, fine, whatever. <laughs> I'll just eat my snacks. I bet. Okay, so oh, for me, um, I did uh, watch this show. Um, I watched it pretty actively. I recognized just the name. Uh, from when I saw the thumbnail. Uh, very fond memories of this show. I don't know exactly when I watched it, but um, I loved it. Um, I still think it's great. I think it's really funny. I love the style of humor, the style of animation. That, why does that not surprise me that you watched this show? It was, I mean, it was, it was a good time. It was a good time. I like it. I feel like you've watched everything on this list so far. <sighs> Disney boy. Yeah, I am a Disney boy. Uh, I've seen Our a lot. Disney boy. I'm you sure also had there's... cable growing up. I didn't have cable, so I was True. stuck watching. Like we, the... do you guys? We had it for about a a five year stint, and then we're back to basic. Do you guys remember? Then this was back in like two thousand, from like two thousand six to two thousand ten, on uh, ABC Saturday mornings. They would do cartoons like the Disney Channel cartoons with uh, Hannah Montana, Sweet Life. Power Rangers, that kind of stuff. And then, like, 11.30, noon, it would cut off and then go to college football. Like, that was the schedule. So mm-hmm. I'd, have the t- I'd have the TV from, like, 7 to, you know, noon or whatever. And then my brother would get the TV the rest of the day to watch college football. Mm, that's unfortunate. Uh, no one in our family watches sports. It's, uh... it's not true. I watch soccer. That doesn't count. Yeah, that Ooh. doesn't count. That's very <laughs> And I played it. It's a higher (laughs) form of intelligence. (laughs) No, it's not. Literally dumped someone because they said, "Well, they they were talking specifically about women's soccer." That's a story for another time. (laughs) Oh, okay. (laughs) That's a story for the Wildcast. Oh, it would be. Um, So let's go into the full review, starting with. So this is a thing that uh, uh, I encountered. I don't know what Disney Plus did. IMDb lists the episodes in a different order. But yeah, I we ended went... up watching like 16 episodes because I watched all the wrong ones. I was going to say, was that something you encountered or something Cameron encountered? That was something Cameron encountered. <laughs> so, so Cameron can give us some spoilers of what's to come in the show. Uh, so we'll start Cause with Because ep- it follows a thread throughout the series. <laughs> it yeah. really doesn't. If you miss any episodes, you'll have no idea what's going on. It's a soap opera, daytime soap opera, general hospital. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there was, yeah, there, there's not really any references, uh, but we'll get into it. Uh, episode one. Uh, part one, we'll go by part. Uh, uh, Doris floors gorgeous. Uh, Oscar wants a date for the dance, and that's coming up. So he makes up a fish named Doris floors gorgeous. That is his girlfriend. Yeah, that that's his girlfriend. Because I had I had to do most of these recaps, and they're mostly <laughs> oh, really? because IMDb has nothing on them. Apparently, <laughs> that's what you do though. Is like if you if you want a date for a dance, you you don't go ask somebody. You just make someone up. Make someone up that that lives out of town in yeah. Fish, Fish Niagara Falls. And, and then they and then they you know just show up randomly because that makes sense. They manifest. Yeah, which okay. This is kind of a pet peeve of mine of like underwater uh, stuff, okay. like cartoons and whatnot, like SpongeBob. Yes, uh, if they're gonna have like a waterfall or something like that, I feel like it should be air and it should be going up. Mm. Yeah, just to fit the role. I mean, they they did. They did have it was underneath water. Yeah, the underwater. Like I liked how it was like the fish tank waterfalls going in, Um, but yeah, is is that what is that what it was? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was a water uh, recycler. It was a water Um, recycler on top uh, of the tank. Some fish tanks have that so that they're getting fresh water fed, and then there's Mm. an outtake valve that takes the old water. Well, they had that in every tank, though. Yeah, but some have them fancy, so it's it's like oh, okay. nature, like a waterfall it, uh, purpose. Sarah is smarter than all of us. That, that's I'm the only one here with a degree, but it is an art degree. <laughs> <laughs> I have a degree. I have an associate's degree. Where is it? Oh. I it's, at my, it's at my parents' house. It doesn't, <laughs> associate's degree don't matter, but I have it. Dogs can get associate's degrees. That's true. Oh, okay. They can actually get any degree. An honorary bachelorette or whatever. 
Bachelor like, et degree? What the hell is that? <laughs> it's made up, just like uh, that's what degrees. I have. I don't have a bachelor's. I have a bachelorette's. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was worried that you were going to complain about uh, the show being unrealistic as no, far as under no, my choice. But no, no, I I found it very good that they established very early on that this is just ignore reality. This is a fish tank where they have welding tools and they can just go in between all of the tanks and think, all that stuff. I think my, can I, can I talk about something I really, I really liked from this episode? Yes. Yeah, you can. Uh, when they're, I, I don't know if it was this part or the second part, but it was when they're sitting there and they're looking, they go, do you think anyone's ever got themselves stuck in that pipe? Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably the, one episode. of the best jokes of the show. And, where and like, it goes through each stuck. day. And then he gets more and more interested. Like, yeah, how, how big do you think that pipe is? Oh, about the size of a fish head. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's just stuck in it. Oh, um, the, oh, the actor who played Milo, he was uh, he was the, the the main the main character from Cory in the House, or the also, little, I don't know what that is. The little, the little brother, brother from That's So Raven. I don't know what that is. Oh my gosh, Cameron! Do you this not is a watch Disney TV? podcast. Get out. <laughs> no, this is a suffering through Disney podcast. He you was, are more than welcome, sir. He was amazing in this show. Uh, was, B was B surprised. was voiced by a, a Disney Channel actress. Uh, she was in Minutemen, and the Jonas, Wait, who is it? The Jonas, the Jonas Brothers, Brothers show. show. Yeah. Hold, Hold on, on. they, they had, had a show. show. Oh yeah, the Jonas Brothers show. Yeah, I they didn't did. know they had a show. I believe it's called Jonas. Yeah, it was called Sounds Jonas. Awful. Um, I think that it was supposed to be the same characters from Camp Rock, but I'm not sure. That wouldn't surprise me at no, all. No, it's it's one of those things where they played themselves and oh, got so into it's not a situations. Like the Naked no. Brothers band? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like the Naked Brothers band. I remember, Gosh, I used to love I remember that, that show. show. Is that I used show on Disney love Plus? It. No, it's a Nickelodeon. Dang. Oh right. Yeah, it's like a Look. teen Nick. That's the she plays the late that's Chelsea Kane. Um She plays B. She, she is super from um no. Um, robot chicken. Why not? Why not just share your screen? Like that's a much I, easier way to do it. Because I didn't want to go through all of that. I didn't want to have you guys come with me. I just. You guys, want to see my screen? I'm looking at our IMDb. So, what are your thoughts <laughs> on Clamantha? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Those are my thoughts. Fun. Yes, she was. She was ugly. Yeah. yeah. On the go inside. <laughs> like, I just. I just. Sarah, go back to you. What? Start talking. The, I just yeah. noticed the, the the diagram you've got yeah, on the wall. Yeah, it's the that. anatomy of Milo. <laughs> no, that's and, a that's or no. not Milo. What's his name? Uh, Morty. Oscar. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I I realized yeah. that, it was, that it was the same voice actor as Morty almost immediately. It has the same kind of whiny. Oh, high pitch. geez. He's, yeah. Everything is is a nightmare. He's always upset. He's always scared. Yeah. It was good. It was good. Uh, anything else that you want to point out? We can we can always jump back, but anything else from Doris Flores Gorgeous that um, yeah is worth discussion? Yes, yeah, yes. Uh, for for the young ladies watching this show, um, if someone's not interested, don't dress up to like to do what happened <laughs> at the end of that little bit. That's wrong. Oh, the oh, where where the what, what Calamantha does? Yeah, very wrong and yeah, not okay. Yeah. Pret it's pretending, pretending. Well, first of all, eavesdropping on someone else's conversation, and then using that knowledge to create a costume of a person that they made up, to then impersonate that person to get a kiss. Just creepy. Don't. That do is that. creepy. Clementa, Clementa is creepy, but she's on the cheerleader squad, so she's doing something right. Dude, they have like twelve there's, students in that. School. There's always <laughs> one on the cheerleading squad that's there because they're money. They're Clementa. <laughs> Good enough. Sarah, were you jealous that you never were on the cheerleading squad? I did audition. Wait, she's on Rick and Morty. <laughs> you auditioned for the cheerleading squad? I don't remember that. I did, and my and my friend got in. I couldn't do a somersault or a cartwheel. Or, and I didn't want to really be there. I did it with my friend. We so also you, tried out for basketball. So you lived through the beginning of the first episode of uh, Lizzie McGuire. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. so she tries funny. out and then her friend gets in instead of her. Or I, actually, Pretty much. But. <laughs> yeah. 
I still yeah, stalk I, that friend on Facebook. <laughs> I I just wrestled and played football. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder which. I wonder which friend that is. What'd you, you say, Kaylee? Like, has it been spread rumors about her? No, I don't. What? Yeah, like in Lizzie McGuire. Yeah, oh, sorry. Okay. We're okay. still making references here. We're still making references to that show <laughs> that we all loved. Said <laughs> no one ever. Okay. Uh, next uh, part of the episode was Underwater Boy. Uh, well, we missed tr- the part. Never mind. Yes. We can talk. You can go. Oh, no. Yeah. What do you want to I was going to talk about that. Uh, the the hick guy that oh, oh, funny. I love that so much. I like trailers. There's yeah. <laughs> there's one episode I I think it's in episode three, uh the one where my where uh he becomes an emo where they're they're sitting at the cafeteria and the oh, hick yeah. guy is just sitting and he's just eating uh, a turkey leg and just doing the same bite over and over again. <laughs> just hob just staring into space. Oh, uh, kind of yeah. like Sora did yes last night. Kind of like us, Sor- yeah, of like Sora. Yep. Oh, yeah, stay tuned for that episode. Minus the screaming. That episode should, <laughs> that that episode actually has to go out before this one, so because that's when it, it's due. It's due that's today. Never stopped you before. Is it due today? Well, I mean, today's the last day of the semester. Is it? Well, but yeah. I I still have the rest oh, of the finals week to turn stuff in. Yeah, I, I still have to do an assignment. Well, for oh, finals. Words. Can we do the podcast? Okay, fine. Uh, okay, so Milo tries out for the football team, uh, and he uh, gets the role of the water boy, which <laughs> at, at first he dreads, and then finds out that uh, uh, being the water boy is very important, especially when you're fish going into a gecko tank. Yeah, because that made sense. Is that yeah. makes sense? I had I had to love that because you thought the Disney Channel plot was going to be support your friends even if you don't matter, but it was literally like they will die if he doesn't <laughs> get over to that tank. I thought that was fun. There's I, a few mixed morals. Yeah, uh, the geckos were funny. I like how they kept licking their eyeballs. That was funny. <laughs> I love ah. that. That's um, my favorite part of Frozen too. The thing with the pie. Had a had the, the pie thing scene had a very Rick and Morty moment, where he's like yeah. showing the thing. He's like, "Give me the pie. It's not. It's not a real pie. It's just an algae. Give me the pie. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not real. It's just stuff on paper. Give it to me." They just <laughs> just eats it. I will complete the pie for my friends. I thought it was funny. I did as well. That's why I. Um, I, I try. I try to remember anything else from that episode. <laughs> That's why I uh. softly giggled. <laughs> <laughs> you did softly giggle. I, I noticed. That was funny. Um, I wouldn't say it's one of the funniest episodes. No, oh, absolutely the, not. The geckos do get brought up uh, in the next episode, which is pretty funny. Uh, so we'll just go on to episode two. Uh, oh yeah, let's, let's talk about the the end cap. Scenes with the those are so oh annoying. yeah the snake in the I the snake the mat. Those. those are so funny. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That was another thing that my brain was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I remember this. The, okay, the one at the end of Dark Side of the Fish is the funniest one. Uh, Which one is that? Um, that's the one. Is where that the one that the, built the jetpack? Yeah, where the rat, where the mouse <laughs> builds the jetpack is like, finally, an animal will fly, and then a bird goes over her head. And the snake's like, birds can fly, you know. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was, the delivery was good. It yeah, was I good. thought it was really good. Yeah. So moving on to episode two, we have a hooray for Hamsterwood. That was uh, a horrifying episode. Where Milo surprises B with an acting role. No, no, he he promises her a show. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, what was it? Like the it was like the teenage witch hamster. Yeah. show that they were watching hamster, yeah which, yes. and milo's got a uh a, a crush on the hamster and, oh, is that what and, that is uh, is a crush Pamela and hamster? oscar is scared of hamsters. yeah that was the weird thing is they made it a pamela anderson in sabrina yeah with, like except she was young and so it was i guess like, it was just the pun was more worth it what was what was the pun pamela is hamster, pamela hamster? <laughs> instead of pamela anderson Look it up, get, kids. Uh, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> only only millennials will, will get hey, this run reference. I, I, I don't know why they didn't just say Pamela Hamster's son. Yeah. I used to watch, used yeah. to watch the, maybe that Maybe because she's... Maybe that's the Disney yeah. Channel. I remember the old one, yeah. 
I used to watch the cartoon, the live well, action. I mean, she's awesome. she's pretty. She's not that bad as long as you don't watch um, the lifeguard show. I can't remember what's called. Um, oh, uh, yeah. Baywatch. Baywatch. Yeah, Baywatch. As long as you don't watch that, then you're fine. Any really any of them. Uh, and the there's a game show where they're gonna eat fly fish for what was it like ten thousand dollars or something? Ten thousand hamster coins. Yeah, hamster coins. It's like, oh no, we need to save her. It was like fear and, factor. And Milo turns it off. She's like, I don't know, ten thousand is a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fear factor though. That's what it kind of reminded yeah, me. Yeah, I remember fear factor. It, it was that sort of thing. Like eat this gross thing. Yeah. Like, get go into a, a tub with all this stuff in it. The the crazy thing the not crazy the weird thing with it was when um, the hamster like turned into the monster hamster he was like super stoked his teeth were all long and gross right yeah like they do that the realism shot oh like the the close ups yeah. with like they're super grody close ups yeah it's kind of like a uh, that's a flap- totally a SpongeBob or Flapjack Flapjack yeah. does that a lot. Yeah. yeah, I guess SpongeBob does that too. SpongeBob. Not not as much da, 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 Dub, 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 dub. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, hurry for Hamsterwood. Anyone else <laughs> got anything? No, not really. Not my favorite. Okay, going on to one that I did like. Uh, well, actually, tailor. I can say something. Hold on, real quick. Okay, I do appreciate that they had um, when they went to the studios. It was Hamster Studios instead of like Universal Studios, and then they had a little uh, uh, tower in the back. Like Hamster Tower. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. University. I like yeah. how they had all the like the chips on the ground and all the stuff was made out of cardboard and like the studio was like a toilet paper roll or something. Mm-hmm. Um, I liked. I think it was interesting the that the fish had those little like backpack things that were spraying them with water. Oh yeah, that would have been good for the football. That would have been good for the football team, <laughs> but continuity does not matter in this show. So moving on to the tale of Sir Oscar Fish. Uh, where Oscar, uh, living his life in a Morty state fear, uh, fantasizes about being Sir Oscar Fish in his diary, and he misses the bus, runs into a stop sign, gets picked up by the pet shop owner, put into the medieval oh, tank. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. And then uh, gets, he thinks he's dreaming, so he lives out his fantasies of being Sir Oscar Fish, public speaking and uh, being brave and stuff. Uh, all the while, B and Milo have to track him down, and they find all of the other fish that look like uh, o- Oscar and the all of the other tanks. Well, and then it, I'm fast forwarding here to the end, but there's like two Milos, wasn't there? Yeah, two there are two, yeah, there are two Milos as well, mm-hmm. and they're like holding hands or like holding fins with each other. Yeah, you know, it's like that's a little creepy. <laughs> Hey, I mean, if you if you're in love with yourself and then you find your doppelganger, dream come true. Dream come true. <laughs> sure. And Milo certainly is in love with himself. Um, what this had like one of my my favorite jokes in the whole thing, which is like the sea of Oscars coming in. He's like, "Who are all these people?" And it's like, "Yeah, it turns out uh, fish kind of all look the same." <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, "You know what? That's true. Fish do look the same." You're not and wrong. that's not something that really gets covered that much in shows like Finding Nemo and stuff. Everyone knows who everyone is, except for like that one part of Finding Dory. But yeah, it's only it's only it only happens when it's relevant to the plot. Yeah, and uh, mm-hmm. all of the all of the Oscars were so funny. Like there's one with a giant mustache. There's one with three eyes. There's one, with one eye, one with the, the one with nose. the giant nose. Stoner. I remember that one. That was funny. Where the the fans like a hippie stoner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just sleeping by my stop sign, and this guy trips over me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, I mean, that means there's two Oscars that look the same in the, in the same tank. Unless he went back to the fantasy tank. Yeah. But when they meet him, he's in the stoner one. Oh, yeah, the stoner guy. Yeah, uh, that's Oscar, so, not Milo. Well, you said Oscar. Yes, Gosh. I said Oscar. I'm These just saying are there, are two, there are ah. two Oscars in the same tank that look similar. Collins, are you feeling all right? Yeah, I don't know. Um, we both are not feeling good today. Do you guys I have had, the corona? No, it's not that kind of not feel good. It's more like uh, not moving from the couch for an entire day. Uh, and then the next day, realize, oh, right, that's why we exercise. 
I feel like everything's <laughs> locked up. Uh, Sarah, you want to talk about your favorite character in the whole show? Girl. Uh, <laughs> no, that's not my favorite character. That was just a moment where what? I was like. Cameron, I agree. I'm on, I'm on your team, Cameron. The, 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 the pink fish, like the, the popular girl. She oh, says yeah, it later the on super in, sassy oh. girl. She girl. says it later on in the series. That was just the moment it clicked that was like, I've seen the show before. <laughs> well, during the football game, she was like talking about doing makeup or something like that. Yeah, she's and like, then, should I cut my bangs? Yeah, and then they go into the game like, ah! and then back to the conversation, no problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was that's, great. Maybe my favorite part of the show is her just going, girl. <laughs> Gosh, she's funny. I don't know why. It's it's a good it's a good character. I'm sure there's other episodes with her more in them. Like she's on the thumbnail yeah. in Disney Plus instead of B, which was confusing. But I think she's probably one of those characters that's like a C character that moves up to B later in the show. Yeah, yeah like, later in the show they're they're like friends she's like part we, of the group. we barely ever saw the teacher in these three episodes or like the principal showed up like twice can, can i just point something out real quick yeah whenever either you or sarah say something collins that doesn't quite make sense on my end it makes no sense but for cameron it doesn't make any sense it's just really funny because i can see his face kind of go huh because like <laughs> he does like the puppy like huh? what's going on <laughs> and it's just really funny to me so <laughs> Too bad the camera doesn't cut to me when I do that. Yeah, I, I love you, Cameron. <laughs> what was the deal with the dragonfish? A dragonfish? Well, yeah. I don't even know if it was a dragon or a fish. It just looked like a regular dragon to me. Yeah, like... Dude, dragons can't live underwater. That Water puts out fire. Well, Idiot. So not... There are more than All one kind of dragon, that... dog. Yeah. There's no water dragons. Yeah, there is. That's a serpent. Okay, I'm looking it up on Facebook. No, I haven't wiki. actually. Oh, <laughs> there's, there's a, a fish hooks wiki. You bet your butt there is. There's a uh, there. Oh, what is it in um in, in Final Fantasy? 15, there is there is isn't it? any water dragons, but there are ice dragons. Yeah, but that's not the same thing. They it literally, it literally looks. Dragon turtle. I guess I can Siege share my lion. screen. Go ahead and share your oh, screen. Oh, you're right. There's those. <laughs> those definitely exist hold on give me one second i just because like, i have some I confidential swear. stuff on here don't there, swear on this podcast it's family friendly cameron there there's there's a lot of dragons my goodness no i'm trying to remember leviathan that's the closest thing to a water dragon is a leviathan oh from uh norse mythology the, yeah it uh in final fantasy 15 you fight a leviathan and it's the, absolutely uh, terrifying the Ouroboros thing. The, oh, the no, Ouroboros that's snake? Else. That's a snake. I'm thinking of the, yeah. the world serpent. The that's world Ouroboros. Serpent. I, have to, right. I have to quit my Zoom in order to share my screen. So I'm no, just you don't. It, it'll say you need to, but then it'll let you when you try it again. I've never had that pull up before. Maybe oh. it's because I have two screens. Yeah, it's, it's lying to you. I had to do that with system preferences uh, our last recording. Sarah Blake. Oh, okay. That is okay. absolutely Jeez. terrifying. What oh the crap? There is a full fish hooks wiki. That's yeah. so scary. That's not that's not a, a fish. Like maybe that's a snake. It's a, it's clearly it's a an eel. dragonfish. It's an eel, guys. Is it? It says species dragonfish. Okay, do dragonfish yeah, exist? Is. It's from Fish Tankia. Oh yeah, that one was funny. It's like, what would you do if you had a TV show? Yeah. And, and the snake does a dance and was like, no, that would never happen. I would have a talk show. And then as a talk show, and then the snake starts dancing again. Yeah, the snake just shows up like, no, no, I win this, you don't. It was funny. I th- I think it's really funny that a snake and a rat or a hamster thing are best friends. When in reality, that hamster would be nothing but poop after That's the first the five seconds. Joke, Doug. Here we go, right here, Collins. What? Aqua dragon from D and D. Boom. <laughs> There there's is a, a water dragon. There's an aqua dragon in D&D? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I don't know. That's what it says. Oh, cool. D&D and wiki, a... aqua dragon. Oh. Well, now we know. Oh, wait. Is it is the website Dand Wiki? Like D-N-D? Yeah. Wiki? Okay, that's homebrew. Not someone, someone just made that up. Dan oh, wiki okay. is a curse. Um, well, anyway, then I guess. Well, not. Yes, there are no water dragons. There's so probably a water dragon. Anyway, uh, episode three. 
what possibly my favorite episode besides uh, Sir Oscar Fish. Big Fish. Milo uses a secret <laughs> method to become big and strong. <laughs> this is a good one. This is the uh, this is the uh, yeah. This is the episode that has an SCP in it. Other stuff. Anyway, there's, so, there's a whole thing. It's this whole one thing. had this one had some confusing morals that we'll get into. Sure. So he uh, he goes to the yoga slash gymnastic heavy lifting thing uh, with B. Um, finds out that he can't lift himself up, let alone anything else. Wants to get strong, but doesn't want to work for it, which, like, I already immediately knew where this was going to go. Uh, meets a shrimp and goes to a shady part of town where he introduces him to the big tank. And it has the concept of, like, that uh, a fish will grow to fit its environment. So if you go into the giant tank, you'll just keep getting bigger. It's like the hyperbolic time chamber from Dragon Ball Z. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Or, over uh, the, okay. the, I was like, it's going in the chamber to get strong. The one anecdote they keep talking about in the movie Big Fish, uh, starring Ewan McGregor. Wait, what anecdote? Where it's like a big fish in a small pond, but if you're out of small fish in big tank, they grow. Okay. I don't remember that uh, anecdote. No, no. Yeah, because so- like when he's a kid, he has to be like, like have casts on his arms and stuff because he's growing too fast. I don't know. Pick me, pick me. Uh, Duck Schulte. Yeah. Um, so fun fact of the day. That is, what was that? Why are you dabbing? Get that guy out of here. Um, fun fact of the day. Cut to him. Um, we, steroids do not work that way. I wasn't. Ex- it, they, I wasn't. I wasn't well, no, 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 no. Let, let me finish. You saying I don't just go sit in a chair and I get big? No, steroids allow you to work out. Like they allow you to recover qu- quicker, so you can work out and train harder, more frequently. Right. So, like, you could work out in the morning, just you know, gas yourself. And then if you're taking steroids, you could do the exact same thing later that night without it hurting you. Uh, it would actually benefit you, where if you did that without steroids, it would not benefit you. Without it hurting you. <laughs> if you cycle properly, it doesn't hurt you. You just have to cycle yourself properly. And when you come off it, you have to do it the right way. That if When you don't do that, that's when you run into issues. Okay. I saw, I saw the PSA about it in junior high. I know how... <laughs> That PSA is, uh, I mean, oh which boy. one did you see? The one where, like, there's a nerdy kid and he joins the track team? No, no. The one I saw was uh, they, uh, um, they had a bunch of different, like, like a basketball, football, soccer ball, stuff like that. Mm. And then it said, this is what steroids can do. And it deflated all of them. Mm. This is like, well, like he, there was a like the, hmm. the kid's mentor, like when he found out that he was doing steroids, like you know what steroids will do to you, and he like lifts his leg up on the table, and he just got like bingo wing on his thigh really bad, like this is what ah. steroids will do to you. Gross. Like, it's like, I just wanted to make my family proud of me. Whatever. Um. Then there's the 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 drug one that I always remember, where the kid meets these other kids, and they're all like nine. He's like, what's that? This is pot, and this is what you smoke it with. <laughs> Why did you see that, dude? That's an actual line from a PSA skit. Oh, it's so funny. That is so um, funny. Holy uh, don't cow. do drug skits. Um, yeah, don't do it. Not worth um, it. Also, so he uh, goes in. This had some of the best jokes. Uh, like, after he comes in the second time uh, and redoses with the chair room, and he gets even stronger. And every, every time it's like, what if I, they think I'm strong now? What if I get even stronger? And he, uh, he's lifting the school statue. And the one kid's like, hey, he said he would lift the statue. And then he did it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was funny. And then he punches a hole in the wall. And the teacher's like, I'm not even going to look. It was good. That's a public school teacher for you. <laughs> eventually, he... Uh, and a college professor. He falls asleep in the tank. And he, grow, he grows to be a, about the size of a small child. Yeah. Uh, he's basically he... evolved. Yeah. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, this, he's like five, four, like three feet tall or so. His fully formed appendages. <laughs> like his fins are two separate legs. That's so funny. 
like, I wonder if that's happened. Like, the, the shrimp knows that bad things happen if you go in there before. So, like, has the shop owner had to deal with fish going in there, becoming huge, and then, like, walking out of the store? <laughs> Dude, that's how, the, that's how the shop owner eats his dinner. Well, the, yeah, the, uh, the shop has a sushi shop right by it. <laughs> oh, really? That, that's, a, that's a joke. Yeah. It does that. It does. I didn't Every time they show the front of the shop, and it, it has the name of the shop, and then uh, and then it has their little sushi shop right by it. I did. And then it that. like changes the right. name of the shop. That I wanted. Front. I wanted to bring that up. Um, yeah. How it's, it's always so um, good. Like, like fish, pets, and blank, or it's yeah. like and karate, or like and um, couples, and gym. like and like dating. And Jim, oh, it's like the, um, the it kind of went with whatever the theme was of that particular episode. Yeah, yeah. it did. Um, it reminds me of the uh, storefront joke uh, in the Bob's Burgers intros, where the the shop to the left, uh, the audience is right, I guess, of uh, the Bob's Burgers shop always changes its name and it's always a pun. Sure. Like how the exterminator is yep. always a pun as well. Cool. It's kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, and he, he tries to get back into the tank to get his friends to help him. And the principal unleashes his secret army, which he has uh, oh, yeah. for some reason. Just waiting. I knew this day would come. A sailor boy is attacking our school. <laughs> I mean, it's a Ghostbusters reference. I think we can all agree. That with the like the oh puffs. yeah yeah because he's got the sailor hat and the little neckerchief. I was wondering tape. why that fell on him. I was like, "There's a reason why they did that," but I can't Stay that's see funny. why. That's not a sailor boy. That's my <laughs> it's boy. a student. Okay, he's still attacking the school. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, and then they, they have to put him in the the tiny tank to shrink him down, and it I, takes forty eight hours. I really 36. like six. I like six hours. I like the the tiny tank. I thought that, that was, was funny. That was funny. I was I was worried that the uh, big tank wouldn't have a lid, like would have a lid on the top of it, and it would be like a super claustrophobic episode where he's like stuck in there, expanding <laughs> to the. Oh, I felt like real fear for a second, but then he just like exploded out of it. What was I? Well, most tanks don't have a lid, I think, because it helps the air in the water yeah, that makes they, sense they, yeah i used to have i used to like take care of the fish for my neighbors over here when i was younger and they would um they had like a like a grate on the on the top like a it, it was almost like a strainer mm. but because they had um they had a cat that was kind of a butthole that <laughs> that that checks out um well it's and birds. what else in this episode uh well, we have part oh, the, two of the this shrimp, episode. The, sh the shrimp turned into a jumbo shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's that funny. The, the last half of episode three, uh, the dark side of the fish, uh, where Oscar becomes a goth. Anyway. Oscar becomes a goth because he... Uh, <laughs> so yeah, and doing... like Professor Snape like joins him into his ranks. Ex that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, he, he's, he's do he does... All, also, all of Oscar's poems are computer related mm -hmm. which i i thought that they would do a joke that's like oh like i'm not depressed i'm just talking about my actual computer but uh no uh he he, he, he tried to write a serious poem uh and everyone else only wrote about bunnies and he didn't get any respect for his serious poem so the goths recruit him and then over the course of the episode he finds out that uh it's not fun being a goth which so gonna, I, 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 is kind of the point they're gonna sacrifice him weren't they no, they were he was making supposed him to sacrifice away everything. Life. Yeah. yeah, he was supposed to sacrifice uh, everything they liked. He's like, "Oh, I finally have people understand me. This is great." And he's like, "No, this isn't great. Nothing is great." Like, that's the point. Like, I I never was around any goth kids in schools that I went to. I don't really even think that there were like there were. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. You had wait. Um, you had goth kids at your high school. Yeah. I remember in junior high. I don't remember any goth groups in my high school well the whole goth craze kind of phased out by the time we got to high school but there was a yeah. dedicated group of five goth kids with like the big hairspray black hair and huge bangs oh see i don't i don't look at that as goth i look at that as emo oh yeah that's true it is kind of different yeah, yeah. i'm thinking about emo then emo, like, emo like goth, goth or like is more like this episode 
where like everything there sucks. There were and some goth kids, but, but then emo is more like core. I love listening to Three Days Grace. Well, yeah. that and emo is also like I hate my life. Yeah, yeah. Emo, but, is, but, the so one like, emo is like I hate my life. Goth is like I hate everything. Existence. Yeah, all of yeah. life. Exactly. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, because they, they shut down. Uh, Oscar, that's his name. Every time he gets excited, which like it was a, that was also like a sort of Morty type thing to happen. Like him with the goths, it reminded me of that. Yeah, I, that was really funny. He's like, "Oh, what about this?" He's like, "No, just no." Thanks. I'm just so happy to be here with all my friends. I may have been wrong about you, <laughs> Oscar. Oh, and he changed. What does he change his name to? Oh, yeah. Hold on, I have the fish hooks wiki up. <laughs> he changes like and, and like also like goth names. I don't like that. That also makes me think that we didn't really have goth groups in our in our high school and junior high because they they didn't have goth names. I don't know how goths work. If you're a goth, uh, reach out to the show and uh, give us a five star review. Well, <laughs> also too, be sure to tweet at us. And also tweet so at we us, can yeah. educate ourselves on yeah. You know, your lifestyle. And then lifestyle. get all of your goth friends to tweet at us as well, and then have them write five star reviews. So he changes I his guess. name to Big Bubble if. Thorn. Bubble Thorn. That's what it was. There was another part to it. There was a first, and then Bubble Thorn was the last name, but I can't find it. Oscargillioth Bubble Thorn. I don't know. Because Bubble Thorn is like, Bubble is so soft, and Thorn is hard. I don't know. Seems legit. Seems legit. Yeah. Oh, and we got the. Uh, Another great Milo uh, joke, art. Milo joke uh, from me oh, that, that I thought was good. Careful there. Um, was um, when uh, I think like B B uh, finds out that he's uh, with these guys, and she like says like, "Oh, he's with them," and he's like, "He's got like." That's 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 Oscar. He's got dark. He's got makeup on and stuff. Like, oh, he's a clown. <laughs> like, like everybody know only clowns wear makeup. And she's like, I make I wear makeup. Call him like I see him. <laughs> <laughs> Which, ugh. that's funny. Only like I thought he was gonna say like only girls wear makeup, and I'm like only clowns wear makeup. Uh, existence is a lie. See there, I can be goth. Uh, five star review, please. <laughs> 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 um let's move on uh to uh final thoughts section moment of the show and favorite episode oh boy uh and for favorite episode i'll do like the individual like stories the segments yeah the segments because technically those are okay. episodes they just package them together yeah so uh sarah what? You up first. Moment of the show and favorite episode. Oh, gosh. That's tough. Um, I definitely... Well, I'll definitely say I liked the uh, Underwater Boys, my favorite episode. Hmm. And um, as far as favorite part... Um, uh, well, I just lost my train of thought. That's super. Um, your, your moment of the show. My favorite moment of the show is is going to be when milo gets his head stuck in the pipe ah uh, that's a good one that's yeah there that's me okay doug okay now i can talk all right pet peeve about t- tv shows in general this, this not, can be your moment it doesn't yeah, have to be it, positive it, it will be it will be not just this show but just every show that does this portray football correctly please that is not football. They claim it's football, but it's not. Don't know. A field goal is not worth seven points. It is worth three or one. Doesn't doesn't okay. one of the geckos like slam dunk a field goal? No, Milo slam dunks a field yeah, goal. Yeah, Milo does. Yeah, right. Milo it, does. It, <laughs> makes no sense. Anyway, my favorite episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite episode. Wait, what does that have to do with your favorite moment? It's just moment of the show. It's not my favorite moment. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't oh, have it's to just be a favorite. moment of the show. Yeah, yeah, because moment. We we got rid of best and worst moment into just like something you want to call. Well, out. I'm glad I was informed about that. You, you were just were. Of, you were informed when the change happened, sir. <laughs> in episode like three. <laughs> I don't remember that. Okay, uh, favorite episode was probably the uh, hamster one, the hamster Hollywood one. Okay. 
That's the one I remember the most of, other than the football one that just made me angry. Football. Yeah. Okay. Um, Cameron. Uh, okay, so my favorite moment was when he's in the big fish and Milo like punches a hole through the wall, mm-hmm. and then that southern kid is all like, "Oh, you created a." a Backdoor entrance into the teacher's room. <laughs> now you're as strong as a baby duck. Oh, right. oh yeah. <laughs> That's so good. Strong as a baby duck. Ah, oh, my goodness. He had a lot of stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, in your um, favorite episode. I think my favorite episode is probably uh, Gorgeous Flores. Flores. No. Doris. Doris. Doris Flores Gorgeous. Yeah, that one. The first one. The first yeah. One. Probably because which the, is like actually like the fifteenth one, according to IMDb. Yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's weird. It's like Lizzie McGuire all over again. Oh, don't remind me. So my moment of this show, I was gonna say Milo getting his head stuck in the tube because that's a pretty good one. I was actually gonna say that too, and then Sarah took it. Um, I stole it. I knew I'd say it was a my, good one. my 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 moment of the show is all of the all of the the uh, Oscars showing up to fight the dragon, mm-hmm. and That's uh, funny. the 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 stoner Oscar saying that all fish look the same. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not wrong. All fish look the same, and I'm sure sh- because like we saw like the Milo and other stuff. Uh, but my favorite episode is Big Fish, uh, just because of the weirdness of the big tank and uh, him turning into a small child and uh, being called a uh, sailor boy <laughs> with horror. And the fact that the principal has a secret army. And he's like, secret army, go back into hiding. That was a good That's got to come up later in the show. Yeah, like the secret. Like, like, why, why, why does he have a secret? No, yeah, that's that's no, the deep world building that- I'm here for. That won't come up later in the show. The army will come up, but the reason why they're there won't. That's that's yeah. way too much to ask for that kind of this kind of a show. <laughs> Although this the is... the big tank, the big tank has been destroyed because he burst out of it. The big tank is gone. I'm sure that would show up again. Oh, too. and I was gonna I was gonna say as well the questionable morals of that ended up being it's okay <laughs> to do steroids once, but don't overdo it. Which I guess <laughs> according to you of how steroids actually work. It, don't like overdo said, it is a good takeaway because you're an authority on steroids aren't you <laughs> i am not an authority on steroids but i've watched bodybuilding youtube channels that hey, have been he has on an associate's degree in digital media he is no, an authority. <laughs> i have an associate's degree in general studies oh <laughs> uh, yikes. wow you can get a job anywhere with that making you know <laughs> five bucks an hour <laughs> oh. be a manager at subway Oh, Good old uh, Scrubway. Don't make me think about Subway, Sarah. Scrubway. That's a I reference just, I'm never using for a future job. I Scrubway just bring that up because when I got my first job out of college as a designer, I was paid the same by hour as a manager at Subway. A chip wow. that I carry on my shoulder to this day. Yeah, <laughs> I would too. Yeah, that was messed up. Okay, so uh, we have gone through our favorite episodes and moments of the movies. It is time to rank... Um, this rank movie. It wasn't a movie. Right, you ready to debate? Is you ready show. to argue with Doug? Share, I'm so share, ready to argue with Doug. Share the ready. screen. Share the screen, Collins. Sharing. Um, I got to see what I'm ranking here. What the heck is going on here? You, you got it. Oh my gosh, there it is. Ooh. Okay. So, I really liked this show, and I want to put it in between Finding Dory and Hatching Pete. Uh, drop it I, one, and I'll give it to you. Mm. I was going to say number three as well, though I have mm. not seen Hatching Pete, so I can't. But it's definitely better than Noel. It's, I was it's better than Hatching Pete. Cameron, it, it's uh, better than Hatching Pete. Is it? Is it? You didn't see Hatching Pete. I know. It, okay. That's the thing. Cameron, it is better than Noel. Yes, it is definitely better than okay. Noel. So, so I can put, at least go there. Let's put it right under Hatching let's, Pete. Let's put it above Hatching Pete because no, I just feel like that's, no, that's three. Is that is that's the three. wrong answer. <laughs> that's three. Here, here's the thing. Would, what would you rather 
what are you gonna go back and watch? Me go go back and wa- I'm gonna go back and wa- watch more fish hooks later. He's he's gonna go watch more fish hooks. Now a better question would be if I had kids, what would I want my kids to watch? And that would be fish hooks. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I think that makes it Pete. objectively better than hatching Pete. Agree to disagree. <laughs> wow. Uh, anyway, let me go back to my outline here. Who ha- who's spinning the wheel this week? Um, we'll, uh, since you asked, we'll let you do it. But first, we've got the uh, film information and statistics from this show. Yes. Um, Finally, back to the good stuff. Okay. Um, <laughs> Doris Flores, Gr- shut up. I enjoy this section. The Doris Flores Gorgeous. Well, I was, was serious. Written- I like this section. Oh, thank you. Get those uh, stats. Anyway, Doris Flores Gorgeous was written by Noah Jones, Derek Evanick, Alex Hirsch, William Rice, and Jackie Mascarino. We're going to see a few repeat names in this section, which is interesting. That's fair. It's just a TV show. Fair. Underwater Boy was written by Noah Jones, Maxwell Adams, which is such a cool name because it's A T O M S, is his last name. Oh, Maxwell yeah. Adams. Super villain. It's like a super villain. I know. Uh, William Rice, Alex Almoger, Alex Hirsch, and uh, Andy Reingold. Hooray for Hampshire, which was written by Noah Jones, Jackie Buscarino, Diana Lafiatis, I think, and Alex Hirsch. I'm going to be butchering some of these names, but that's fine. Tale of Sir Oscar Fish was written by Alex Hirsch and Ian Wasiluk. Only two writers for that one. Um, I don't mean, I don't know how animated shows work, so I don't know why they have so many writers per episode. Yeah. Um, they kind of tend to have a writer's room, so I guess anyone that's that's true. in the room gets... That's credited. true. Yeah, there, there's a few I, that just get credit. That's so just like whoever, TV shows in general, isn't it? Yeah. Whoever yeah. writes the most gets those top like two yeah. and three yeah. credits. Like the top yeah. three, yeah. Top uh, Big Fish was written by Noah Jones, Ryan Ridley, and Derek Evanick. The Dark Side of the Fish was written by Noah Jones, Blake Lemons, William Rice, Tom Warburton, and Alex Hirsch. I am surprised that um, my uh, Justin Roiland. Justin Roiland, thank you. I was I, gonna say I'm surprised he didn't write any, but he, he didn't did write and he didn't direct either. But he just produced. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah. So this was uh, probably just like an early job for him, and then he wanted to like make. I'm his gonna own Google show. that because I'm interested. Yeah. Uh, as far as can. direction goes, Doris Flores Gorgeous was directed by William Rice and Maxwell Adams. Underwater Boy was directed by Maxwell Adams. Uh, Hooray for Hampstead was directed by C. H. Greenblatt and Maxwell Adams. Tale for Tale of Sir Oscar Fish was written by directed by, I mean, William Rice and Maxwell Adams. Yes, Sarah. Um, this show ended in 2014. It's, it went from 2010 to 2014. Rick and Morty started uh, January 2014. Ooh. Oh, so he went straight from one to the other. No, yeah. what, what happened was Rick and Morty killed fish hooks. Oh, oh no. That's possible. <laughs> I could see the- a fish, I could see a fish hooks reference in Rick and Morty. Well, think about oh, it. Though, like, Let me they probably, that. They probably had, you know, a certain number of, ep- they had enough episodes finished to, or written at least and, and everything yeah. to finish out this, that season. And then they started Rick and Morty during that like overlap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they just didn't get picked up for another season, which, which happens a lot. Shocker. Um, Big Fish was directed by C.H. Greenblatt and Maxwell Adams. And The Dark Side of the Fish was directed by William Rice and Maxwell Adams. It was released uh, 2010 to 2014, as Sarah mentioned. Uh, runtime was 22 minutes per episode so they aired in the way that they're packaged where it's like an episode and an episode together yeah imdb score Uh 4.6 out of 10 oh wow that seems about right that seems too low yeah that's too high well it's a it's a comedy so maybe that's why it's so low because it's it seems like a lot of these critics don't like comedies juvenile yeah yeah um there is no rotten tomato scores shocker That's there <laughs> and there's no I, I was going to uh start doing metacritic as well but there's no metacritic score so next time if it's a thing um but speaking of things we have a wheel to spin uh and this week's wheel was submitted by email by elegant explosion and uh it was very very much encouraged to pick this one last time by doug which is the uh, recommended for you tab uh, on my account, <laughs> <laughs> which uh, not as much Star Wars as I expected. Uh, probably oh. because I've watched a bunch of this. Yeah, I've watched all of it, so it's just the oh. animated shorts. All right, you guys oh, ready? No, that's gonna be the one we get. 
An animated short. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to spin it. Okay, go to, go to, go to spin it, Doug. Uh, okay, hey, get back here. Okay, got it. Mm. You didn't even eat. eat. You My didn't even on so I can eat. Hey. Eat. Oh, gosh. So this is going to be a short episode. What is eat, that? Question mark. Yeah. Yeah. Eat. Oh, no. We got a Disney short. Oh, it's Santa's oh. Workshop. 1932. Oh, no. What? I've seen this one before. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, like, oh. It's in, what is this, this the one that has contains Outdate. outdated cultural depictions on it? Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. Ah. This, this sounds good. <laughs> Cameron, wrong reason to be excited. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm looking it up here. So, uh, ju- just for uh, people at home wanting, the rest of the stuff on my recommended for you page was uh, The Simpsons, Avengers Endgame, Lady and the Tramp, Captain Marvel, Star Wars Blips, Wind, Toy Story 4, Toy Story Tunes, Small Fry, Captain America, The First Avenger, Short Circuit, Captain America, Winter Soldier, so X-Men, Avengers, Lava, oh. Guardians of the Galaxy, Civil War, oh, Forces gosh. of Destiny, Thor Ragnarok. There was Greek all Cavaliers. these good movies, and we got this racist one? Yeah, yeah. we did. <laughs> Hey, the good thing about this, it's not even seven minutes long. <laughs> Wait, how long is it? Six minutes and 41 seconds. It's on YouTube. Oh, all right. Yeah. It'll, be, it'll be a short episode, but I mean, the short episodes have done pretty well. And I haven't heard any negative feedback, so we're going to keep doing them. Have you heard any, any negative feedback, period? Um, I've only gotten positive feedback, actually. That's good. That's a win. Yeah. But no, no negative feedback. about. If you don't like the shorter episodes, let us know. If you like them and want to see more of them, then uh, submit wheels that have shorts in them. If you don't like the show, Gosh, go like watch something um, else. There's, yeah. there's <laughs> one that was on my wheel that was uh, Star Wars Blips, which are one-minute animated shorts. That sounds awesome. And uh, there's eight total episodes, so it's a total of eight minutes long of just one-minute shorts. So we would just crank through the whole thing. Oh yeah, we would. So, okay. But we are we are gonna crank through Santa's workshop. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, there is um yeah you can you can take the description of it uh, a number of different ways, um, if you look in Disney Plus. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, thank you all so much for listening. You're if you welcome. Like the show, please review us on iTunes or whatever podcast service you listen to. We are on pretty much darn everything. Um, if you want a service suggested, uh, then. Uh, go ahead and let us know. Suggest I, it. There's... Suggest it. <laughs> Suggest it. Yeah, uh, we can we can add new services pretty easily. Uh, you can send your reviews or comments to where streams come to gmail dot com or on Twitter at studio seventy six wsct for where streams come true. And you can submit a wheel such as a category or a search term on Disney Plus. We've got a few to work through, but if you submit one, it will probably be. Uh, in the next few episodes that it'll be added in. Um, awesome. I've got about six or seven. Um, you know what? We could, we could actually, now that I'm thinking about it, careful. as an end cap, be careful, decide which wheel to spin next time. Oh. Does that sound, does that sound fun? Yeah, we can yeah. do that. Cause we did that for this one. And I, I, I still got guys... my arguing shoes on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got let my me, flip-flops on. <laughs> let, me look at what I, let me look at what I have. Uh, I'll take off recommended for you. Um, so we have just overall Disney. No. Overall Marvel. Yes. Overall Marvel. Yes. Okay. Um, what are the I, other options? Yeah, what are the other options? Who cares? <laughs> okay, I've got, I'll put one there. Uh, I just, there overall, might be something even better. Overall Star Wars. Okay. National Geographic. No. Mm-mm. Holiday movies collection. No, <laughs> actually, I don't think that's on Disney Plus no. anymore. Good. Um, I think so. High School Musical collection. Yes. Just the High School Musicals, like yeah, just that's four videos. Well, that's it. Well, no, because uh, they have the like series that. too. Yeah. Oh, I'll, the I'll have to jump check in still. TV I'll have show. To check yeah. Still yeah. on there. Um, Disney Channel original movie collection. No. Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga collection. Yeah. Okay, so no. I think Marvel might be the best wheel because there's so many of them. Yeah, Marvel's got because you have like Prince. We've got the Princesses collection. No. Yes. Spider Man collection. Yeah. Uh huh. Actually, you know what? You've been you've been waiting for that for so long. 
We're doing the Spider-Man collection. Yes! Ah. Yes! 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 Uh, so that, that'll be the wheel that we spin next time is the Spider-Man collection. Thank you, uh, Gilmore, for submitting that on uh, Does that mean email. I get to be on at least two more episodes? You can be... Yes. Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> um, there's also, like, the, the Muppets. I mean, I club. don't even go to the right school for this podcast. I just, I'm related to the podcast producer. Hey, I ha- I ha- no one else is volunteering to be on the show. Well, once I graduate, oh, you yeah. know, it's just kind of, you know, cord gets cut. I'm out. Yeah. So uh, I, I'm right going off. to be adding uh, that segment. New what? wheel. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll be deciding the next wheel next time, now that we have wheels to decide from. and we, can we just re- decided one. Yeah, no, we did, I mean, but... in the future. I just put it oh, in the thing so we'll oh. remember. Um, that's all for this episode. Thank you for watching or listening. Bye bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, my face.